DJ Uncle Fresh. Fresh Will. Isn't he you the did. best DJ ever? Hey, yeah. man. Say, man. Y'all got a DJ, food, <laughs> alcohol, a closer. What? What? Where y'all going to get this Where from? Free get all parking? This from? Free. All you got to do is pull up, right? Pull up. Spotlight Shout out city to business. Chef Blazing B. Hey. Hey. For that good food. Yes, indeed. Yes. You already know. Also, shout out to India Diva Bartender. Y'all like them cocktails, right? Y'all like them cocktails over there? Hey, drinks up, drinks up. Yes, drinks up. In the meantime, we got our next guest, man. Yes, um, we do. Without further ado. Drum roll. Let's get it. For this amazing, beautiful lady to stand right. Let me tell you a little bit about her, though. She is a mom first. I found that out about her personally, okay? She's a mom first, but she's also the recipient of the 2024 Presidential Lifetime Achievement Award. Uh-oh. She's also a renowned author. What? She's also CEO of Nyre. Did I okay. say that right? Did you Nyre that? Interior Designs, LLC. Okay. That means and she gets your interior right together. Yes. <laughs> and she's been featured on the covers of LWL Magazine, Essence, Business of Home, Forbes, Shout Out Atlanta, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Ooh. She can also now be found on the sets of some of the biggest films during the lead set decor and all of that Ooh. kind of stuff, you know, Ooh. please welcome into the spotlight. Get them together. Hey, get them together. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up, give it up. Hey. Well, hello, hello, hello. So you just a businesswoman extraordinaire. A boss. Yeah, boss Absolutely. Lady. A boss. Absolutely. Every I day, all it. day. Every day, all day. Every day, all and day. Every day, all day. And we love that. Love Thank it, you so it, much for it. being a part of our Spotlight family. The first time I met you, I knew that you were something special. Okay, girl? And I'm glad to have you here on Spotlight Over City. She's also already been on Trauma right. to Triumph. She was also on um, Trauma to Triumph a couple weeks ago, and now she's here on Spotlight Over City to tell us more about her business side. Um, so we're here today to talk about you as the businesswoman. Um, let's, let's get started. Let's, let's just tell people, it. like, who is Naoka? Who are you? I'm just a regular girl from Kingston, Jamaica. Yes, yeah, shout out to <laughs> Kingston, Jamaica. Kingston, Jamaica. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. And what um, brings you over here to the United States, ma'am? Uh, well, of course, my family wanted a better quality of life. And so in doing that, you know, thanks to my granddad, rest his soul, he mm. um, decided to have all of us migrate here to the States. And so I'm thankful for that because, of course, had he not done that, I would not be, would be who and where, I, who stuff. and what I am today. So, wow. Yeah. So, so that's wait, how, how old were you? Oh, I was young. I was about six years old. Oh, you were young. Oh, now. wow. Okay. Yeah, I was young. Yeah. Okay. And so, did you guys come to the DMV area first, or did you migrate to another area and then come? No, here? we straight up town. Straight up North Park West. Road. Okay. okay. <laughs> that's time for uptown. Okay, yes, indeed. Uptown. Yes. So, yes. So, by you being so young, it wasn't so much of a culture shock because you were young when you left, you know, Jamaica. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. yeah, I get that. Mm -hmm. So, did you have older siblings? I am the oldest sibling. Oh, you're the oldest sibling. Yes, I'm the oldest daughter, granddaughter, cousin. Yeah. I am the oldest of all. Yes. Okay, so you're the boss in the family, too, yeah, then, she I'm boss sure. Yes, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Naoka, tell us a little bit about, you know, what, what got you on the path to becoming one of the world's most sought after interior designers. Hurt and pain. Okay. Um, it was hurt and pain. Um, so at the time I was going through a divorce mm -hmm. and um, I was going through a divorce. Oh, and yeah. of course going through that divorce, um, what I was finding myself doing was taking a lot of my emotions of what I was feeling enduring during that, you know, enduring during that time um, becoming a new single mom. Mm -hmm. um, and so I was just, you know, doing stuff in my new house. I had to purchase a new home. And so while I was, you know, kind of migrating over to my new space, I started going out, doing all these things, going to Pier 1. Y'all remember when Pier 1 yeah. was around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, of course, I was place. in Pier 1 all the time, and I was just doing these, um, just, you know, doing stuff in my home. And then um, while I was out one day, I ended up being at Home Depot, and then I ended up bumping into an actual artist who actually draws and do designs and murals on the walls. Wow. And wow. so she gave me her card. And I was like, you know what? I want something a little different in my house. So, you know, I ended up connecting with her. And, um, 
you know, that's kind of how it started. In addition wow. to people coming over to, I'm an entertainer. I'm like, yeah, I like to have fun, <laughs> like to turn so, up a little bit. So uh, people which coming is, over and they yeah, saw your house. and they saw they saw my house, and then they said. You should think about becoming an interior designer. Now, that was not a thought because, of course, I was like, the moment that somebody tell me they don't like their house, then you know I'm going to pop off. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, right. didn't want to feel that way. Right. And so, um, and then also coming off of the bandwagon of being an actual event planner. So ah, there's okay. a story to my journey, like being a nail tag, doing designs on nails, kind of moving over to becoming an event planner and, um, then I had to stop in that track once that was said to me and decide whether or not it was something that I wanted to do. But first, I wanted to pray about it. Okay. Yes, and so I took works. it to God, and then I wanted his confirmation if it was something that I needed to do. Oh, yes. And what did confirmation look like? The confirmation uh, looked something like waking up, calling my homeboy. Matter of fact, he's on my live right now. <laughs> I called my homeboy up, and I said, listen, I don't know what you're doing over there, but guess what? In about an hour... Well, two, I need you to pull up to the crib with your camera because we got something we got to do. He like, what you talking about? I said, don't even worry about it. Please just do me this favor. So I took my butt to Annapolis Mall to the Zara, and I bought me a pink suit. I had my faux locks. I went upstairs, did my makeup, sat on my couch and say, I don't care what nobody got to say. I'm going to take this leap. And I have no answers to nothing. I don't know who's going to do these houses. I don't know what this contract going to look like. I don't know nothing. I ain't been to a design school. I ain't take a design class. I don't know nothing. Wow. But, but what you I knew am, you wanted to do something. But I, do, I did know that I had to ignite my faith. Mm -hmm. And with igniting my faith, that's how I pursued my passion. Yes, y'all so, give yeah, it up for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love what you said. You said in igniting your faith, you had to pursue your passion. So I tell everybody, your passion is your real purpose, right? So whatever you really drawn to that you will wake up in the morning that wakes you up actually in the morning and makes you feel like you want to do it for free, you'll get a bag out of it if you chase that purpose, right? That's mm -hmm. a passion. It'll be your purpose. So you discovered this early, obviously, mm -hmm. and then you jumped out there and followed it. It followed it courage. all the way through. Seven yeah. years, all the way through. What was the most one of the most devastating blows that you took during your journey? Um, one of the devastating blows that I've taken. Um, I guess someone seeing my progress and how well I was succeeding. And called the Maryland Home Improvement Commission on me. Oh my goodness, people okay. are such. Probably with somebody who you never thought would, too, huh? Never would have thought yeah, they would have done anything like that. Which, again, because God don't play about me, He had a plan with that, though. Let me tell <laughs> hey, y'all what the plan was. Hey, yeah, let's talk hey, about that plan. The yeah. plan was for them to try to destroy me. Right. But what ended up happening was I ended up obtaining my general contractor license. So not only am I an interior designer, but I'm also a licensed general contractor. Yes, oh, man. Y'all okay. give it up. So there Period. it is. So, and so for y'all don't know that, that means that she can actually build property. Like she can construct a home and hire subcontractors like electricians and plumbers and uh, roofers and and do it as a yes. boss. And yes. so this came out of the so-called setback. The setback was the come <laughs> yes, up. The come up. The come up. Come up, okay? Setback, right? yes, the setback was the come up. That's and how so, God show his do his best work though. Yeah. I promise you. So Man. I like to hear that kind of story. Man. Cause see a lot of times you have these entrepreneurs and I speak to them a lot because I'm one. And so a lot of time, and, and congratulations on being an author. Thank you got to speak you. about that too. Yes. Don't forget about yes. the authors yes. up here. Yes, yes, And so a lot of times we hit these roadblocks, I mean speed bumps, and treat them like roadblocks. And so that's where God will reposition you. I'm, I go through that. Right now I'm going through a situation, and that's happening to me right this second as we speak. And I see God in it, and I see he turning it to my favor, and I see that I wouldn't have been able to meet some of the people I'm meeting if I wouldn't have been in my position right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And so um, I can relate wholeheartedly to you. Mm -hmm. And um, it takes family, right? It does. It does definitely take a village. So shout out to my personal assistant, Christian, who's here. Hey, and my Christian. my girlfriend, Bella, that's here. Yeah. Hey, well. girlfriend. Yeah. Gang, gang. Yes. 
Yes. Gang, gang, so that's important. Village. Yes, it that's definitely important. does. Yes. So tell us a little bit, but before we wrap things up, tell us a little bit about some of the amazing things that you got coming up. You know, I know that you've been working with Octech on some on one of their films. Shout out Chuck T- and Bree. Yeah, shout yes. out to Chuck and Bree West. Gang, 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 gang their spotlight family as well. So tell us, you know, a little bit about that that part. Yeah, we got to make it quick. But guess what else, though? You got to touch on the name. At least give them the name of your book. Tell them where they can find it. Okay, so the name of my book is called Leap Before You Look, The Principles to Conquer Fear and Pursue Your Life's Purpose. It's an excellent read. It's a quick read. Like, literally, it's a page turner. It's engaging, and you can find it on Amazon. Um, It's only like five bucks. Um, so this, oh, yeah, man. you guys can so go there and purchase it. everybody can afford to do that. Now, once again, it's called what? Leap Before You Look. The mm. Principles to Conquer Fear and Pursue Your Life's Purpose. Love oh. it. Love it. Yes. Love it. And so some of the other things I have coming up is Tuesday I'll be on Fox 5. Um, oh, on good hey, Shout out Fox to our gang. Fox Shout 5 family. Fox yes. yeah, 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 family. They're family. Yep. So I'll be talking about transitioning your space for the season. So we're going to jump into yes. fall and autumn, right? I love it. So I'm going to be talking about that and doing some shows, you know, showing you guys a little bit of some things that you can incorporate inside of your space. Um, and then as far as Octech, like shout out to Brian Chuck. Like literally they, they took a chance on me, flew me out to South Africa for my very first film, which is actually coming yes. out this November 21st. Yes. It's yeah. called a South a, a, a Wesley South African Christmas. Yeah, and it. so I am the set designer for that particular movie. Okay, and so I'm excited to see my work and my name on the big screen. I am too. Me too. I'm, I'm excited. So proud of you and everything that you got going. Yes. On. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Thank dope, you so man. much. Thank you so much. And then the other thing is for those ladies who you know and gents who get their hair braided. So I am the designer for the big Nadine's braiding salon. Shout out to Nadine. Shout out to Nadine. Another boss lady. Okay. And so um, that braiding salon is open 24 hours, 365 days, seven days a week. You can go at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Nadine going to get them you, Whenever you want. But what I will say about this project is that I am elevating this space so much so that it's going to be definitely giving luxury. So if you want VIP treatment, if you want exclusive treatment, if you want to sip at the bar, whatever it is that you want to do, it's going to be all there at Nadine's new hair braiding salon. Yes, shout out to Nadine's, okay? Yes, indeed. Y'all give it up. And to you. um, Definitely to you, boss lady. Thank you so much. Yes, I am. I'm very, very proud of you. I'm proud of everything that you stand for. And I cannot wait to see you just continue to blossom on this journey that you've got going. Thank you so much. And I'm so happy that 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 we were able to meet. And and you never get rid of me now. (laughs) Okay. <laughs> we stuck, Family. we stuck. Yeah, yes, we so stuck. thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate those kind words, and it was a pleasure coming on here to speak with you guys Yay. and to be in the audience Yay. and for all my followers yes, thank you on here. Yes, so I tell people how they can follow you. Yeah, so you guys can follow me at Nyoka Simone on Instagram. And then you know on they're not gonna um, be Facebook, spell Nyoka. you know they're not going to be. They don't not spell Nyoka. Yeah. I know they really don't. You right? didn't do me all Okay, good. so it's N A Y O K A yes. Simone S I M O N E. Um, and you have a website Instagram. too, don't you? And I have a website which is the same thing, NyokaSimone.com, where you can see some of my work. You can see my um, portfolio and all that I good see stuff. Famous question. Okay, so before we wrap, we're gonna, we gonna end it on this. You got one hour. Um, you just. Finished designing the bombest movie set, uh, Octet. Ever. And it's looking amazing. And you riding home for that one hour. You got one artist you can listen to. You can't take them out. Who you listening to? Oh, I'm listening to reggae. Oh, but reggae. She but from who? Jamaica. Um, it got to be one it's, artist. It's either, can I say two? No. No. Nope. Tag. All one right. artist. And you can't take them out the whole hour. Buju. Buju okay, Bonton. Buju Bonton. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> And so we yeah. had to ask that because it tells a little bit about the personal side. Yeah. Of yes. So I am the fun. You know, a lot of times people do see the professional side of me, but I'm a whole ball of fun. Yeah. I, I, yeah. yeah. Outside of work, I'm definitely a whole ball of fun. I can't that's wait. a big personality. To hang yeah. out. And yeah. And so that energy came here, and we appreciate that because that's what makes everything great. The energy is everything. So yes, it is. So we appreciate that. Keep being you. Keep shining. Being a boss lady. And God's going to continue to bless you and elevate. Let's get it. Thank y'all. Thank, so thank you. Y'all, y'all give it up. up. Naoka Simone. We're not 
not done yet, though. Wait a minute. We got our closing, We're y'all. not done. We got to close it. Because this young man has been waiting for the entire show for his moment in the spotlight. And his moment is coming up after this next commercial break. We have got live stand-up from comedian Tracy M. Hey. Jackson is in the building. So we'll be right back after this commercial break. Spotlight over the city. Woo-hoo. 